Hey guys, so today we're doing a quick little speed and uh, test here of the uh, HCCU Ultra. I'm going to compare it with the S7 Edge uh, to see how it compares here. The S7 Edge is obviously nearly a year old and uh, is a lot cheaper, and we're just going to start up at the same time. Both are coming with very beautiful glass design here, Android Nugget official on both of them and uh, it'd be very interesting to see actually which one wins a speed test and also keep an eye on the battery life because a lot of people are saying you know 3000 isn't enough uh, so you can see the S7 Edge very fast boot up here still uh, well the Ultra is certainly improved compared to the first boot up which was horrible uh, but you can see it is still slower than Samsung's old flagship uh, so uh, we're just going to do a speed test here but first we're going to check out the fingerprint on both of them uh, see how they compare so uh, we have set them up and we can just do it now let's go so you can see nice and reliable the setup was blindingly fast as well on the U Ultra. Uh, I think the U Ultra does have an advantage though in that it can work when the screen is off as you can see. Uh, so you do need to unlock the phone. Uh, but they're both uh, quite reliable here, you know, no uh, apparent issues. So you're going to be quite good there. Uh, we're just going to then check everything is closed down as you can see. And we're just going to start up some apps here. Uh, nice and fast. I think we've got performance mode on the uh, S7 Edge, by the way. Uh, I don't think we have a performance mode on the Ultra. I have looked for it. But Sense is usually very fast anyway, so shouldn't uh, be too, you know. Oh, so the Ultra is uh, quite fast here, actually in some of them let's try uh, wow you can see the dialer i think the ultra is coming with the uh, qualcomm processor snapdragon 821 uh, still a very p potent one not the latest obviously but the lg g6 also you know rocks this processor and you can see it seems to be pushing things around nice and fast here A little bit quicker on the edge there. Uh, we're just going to check out some games. So I have installed four, which is a good baseline minimum to check the multitasking here. Oh, it looks like the Ultra is loading this faster. Very nice. So I count this about. 4-1 to the Ultra, or 3-1, something like that. Looks like the edge this time. Yep, so you can see the edge is still very potent with the Exynos processor. This is the Exynos model. And keep getting some sort of prompt come up about boost on the uh, Ultra. Another edge here, victory, I think, with that one. So 3-3, three, three, which one is it going to win? Oh, so it looks like the edge is going to hip the ultra right at the end here which is uh, quite a shame because the ultra did start off very well with the basic apps uh, which you know uh, was pretty good uh, let's just uh, give it another uh, one as well let's just try a uh, calculator so you can see it's very quick when it comes to the basic apps it's just uh, 
I think the games which the uh, edge did pull it back a little bit uh, we're just going to check out the speed of the Wi-Fi which is another important thing here uh, so we'll just start with the edge you can see same infrastructure no cheating I do love this new uh, vivid thing from Virgin I mean it's like really late here and I'm getting what I'm paying for at any time of the day everyone should have the vivid service ultra what can you do with your dual screen here look at that that is nice you can do different things while I'm doing the speed test oh it's gonna beat the edge oh my god look at that that is a fantastic score 200 uh, so you know not out of the ordinary but the fact that it's beat the edge is uh, really uh, insanely good here I wasn't expecting it to the edge was retain its uh, upload speed should we give the edge another go we, we, we do deserve it does deserve another go come on let's be honest can it uh, redeem itself oh it's going for it it's going for it ah you see you see the edge the edge is not down and out yet. It's still very relevant. Uh, so, and some people are going to be saying, "Well, you know, you got to give the the ultra another go now." I'll probably be doing this all night. <laughs> so let's see, can the ultra one up the edge again? This would be funny if it did. I don't think it's going to. Oh, you see. Uh, so after a solid start there, you can see the edge looks a little bit more. Uh, should we say reliable but very good score nevertheless you know usually uh, uh, like uh, these manufacturers don't care about the Wi-Fi so uh, we're just gonna have a look at some web page load speeds here uh, you could see going into the browser it was very fast on the edge I think that uh, it's using its own browser so you know we're getting probably a little bit better in terms of the optimization HEC did used to have its own browser but I think they got rid, rid of it uh, so you can see again the load here nice and fast on the right uh, I think we're also getting not an AMOLED display unfortunately on the Ultra because uh, the viewing angles don't look quite as good as what you're getting on the edge here at least from my angle uh, very decent though you know not a bad display so what's it doing I probably didn't click on it properly then so we'll just come out of this uh, so just load the page here see how it looks you can see it looks quite nice and we're just going to click on a uh, link here so let's go to something whoa uh, let's uh let's go back let's go to this one right very fast load here on the left as you can see and uh, gsm arena oops you see, you know, I'm getting the, I'm getting the jitters here. I'm going to try a different one, Phone Arena. I'm getting the jitters. The Ultra has excited me. Again, nice load there on the uh, Ultra. Uh, Verge. HTC should definitely bring back its own browser. You know. I think uh, it would be nice to see Edge coming back here though uh, so very good uh, Wi-Fi performance here when you know it did what I wanted it to do but probably not uh, massively different from the one-year-old phone on the right can see this still holds its own loading a few pages here uh, so gonna give that uh, quite mid a cure 
uh, not a massive difference. Uh, we're just going to do a multitasking test, see how they hold it in memory. So that's 1 0 there to the Ultra. And again, so I think uh, the Ultra comes with 4 gigs of RAM. But Sense usually is less uh, strict when it comes to the multitasking, as you can see, uh, keeping them all in memory here, which is very nice to see. So this is solidly going towards the HTC, I think. And uh, that uh, is good. Can it extend to the games? That is a good question. Straight in there on the Ultra. Whoa. Let's uh, try another one. Straight in there on the Ultra. So I'm thinking the Ultra is a, is a beast here when it comes to the multitasking. 4 gigs of RAM, I mean this is fantastic, look at that, straight in there again, and the edge is down for the count, so uh, one more, Spider-Man, no contest, you know, sense uh, very nice and highly optimised on the Nugget uh, for multitasking. Uh, so what can you say here from this test? You know, I think uh, you could see uh, it's, uh, it's quite a good performer, the uh, Ultra, when it comes to the, uh, you know, apps opening, the Wi-Fi was quite good, uh, browsing a little bit same, like, but the multitasking was very good uh, indeed compared to Samsung. Uh, so uh, I'm quite impressed actually, you know, I think uh, it's done quite well here overall. Uh, obviously it does have some unique selling points as well, such as the dual screen here. Uh, they both actually look very similar in terms of the construction. Uh, you'll find as well that they both share the same, uh, you know, issues with uh, fingerprint, uh, you know, malarkey, but if you can look past that, they are very beautiful handsets uh, indeed, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed with the build quality. They've even got the same kind of, you know, camera setup here, like a little bit sticky out on both of them. Uh, I think the battery is a little bit smaller in the uh, Ultra, uh, but it seems to have held up quite well during this test here. Not, uh, you know, the massive difference really. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll definitely be doing some other tests, you know, checking out the camera, etc. on the uh, U Ultra. So do stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.